Margaret Abrams and I'm a shipbuilder. I would have never imagined myself in a position like this. And it's it's not a lack of self-confidence or anything, but I just, I guess I've, I've kind of had the habit of selling myself short and being at the shipyard, being a shipbuilder has made me see, you know, just how much I'm capable of and how much more I can be capable of with just a little bit of time, a little bit of training. And so I, I'd like to say I'm, I'm very proud of myself. You know, I'm, I'm very happy how far I've come. Um, and here we are, so <laughs> it's a great opportunity. I guess it starts graduation year, 2021. Um, I'm still fresh out of the bucket, but I ended the school year and I had no idea what I wanted to do with my life. You know, you think like you'd have like 12 years of school and you'd have some sort of direction, but I, I wasn't exactly sure. But I knew that I wanted to work with my hands and I wanted to be in the thick of it, whatever it was. So I attended college first. I was doing mechanical engineering and I just, I wasn't really feeling it and maybe I'm a little bit impatient but I just I kind of wanted to put myself out there and so I'm back home and I'm looking through jobs and I come across one from Newport News Shipbuilding and they were offering to send people to a program called ATDM or Accelerated Training and Defense Manufacturing and it's based in Danville Virginia and they were offering to send people there for about 16 weeks and then barring completion of that trade school, uh, you get a job here. And I was like, well, hey, that's pretty tight. <laughs> so I originally signed up for welding, um, but they also had a job opening for machining, which I thought was really interesting. Um, you know, again, very technical stuff, but my dad at one point wanted to be a machinist. I was like, okay, okay, we're on to something here. So I signed up for there and wouldn't you know it, I get a call back. Um, about two days later and she's like yeah so we see that you're interested and I'm like absolutely when can I start wild but for many reasons because a that's an awful long lot of time but also it's not very much time at all and so you're going from zero to a hundred very quickly and hence you know accelerated so I just I remember kind of looking at it head first and going oh boy I'm actually doing this <laughs> so but you, you just gotta you know one foot in front of the other you just gotta push forward you know I'm, I'm confident in my skills I'm confident in my ability to learn skills and to do a good job so I knew that in the end I'd, I'd make it through and this this is just a wonderful partnership you know to, to have a company willing to support people you know to go through a program to sponsor them um, send them off to a place where you're your room is paid for, you have transportation to the school, um, and you know, they, they keep up with you, you know, during the whole process, you know, watch your progress and whatnot. And you know, it's very encouraging, I think, you know, to know that at the end of it all, you have a job set up for you. It's real nice walking up to my workspace and knowing that, you know, that's, that's my machine. That's the machine I work on. This is, this is where the magic happens. It feels amazing. You know, I wanted to be a part of something that's bigger than myself, and this is, <laughs> this is pretty much as big as it gets. So it's been really exciting, and um, I'm very grateful to be here uh, to be able to uh, promote this company and kind of bring outreach to other people who, you know, maybe are looking for um, something new or something greater than themselves. It makes me really happy that I was put in a position, you know, where I could succeed and I am succeeding in my career.